Hey, it's Oz here with a quick video tutorial to show you what to do if you have a WordPress plugin that won't delete. So this is something that's happening to me right now. And you can see that this is the plugin in question here, WP Smart Full Screen. If I click on delete, this is what um, you're probably experiencing. The thing says deleting and it shows three dots and it looks like it's doing something but that will still say that half an hour from now. So the thing is not going to delete full stop. Now, if this is happening to you, then I know exactly how you feel. It's frustrating, it's annoying, and you just want that plugin gone because you want things to be nice and efficient and clean. So let me show you how I deal with this. Okay, so this is FileZilla that you see on the screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to FTP up to my web hosting space. Then I'm going to navigate to the plugin directory and I'm going to find the offending plugins folder and I'm going to delete it. So I'll put a link to FileZilla and to a tutorial if you don't know how to use this tool because I haven't actually made a tutorial for that. But FileZilla is a free tool and it's my FTP client of choice. Okay, so I'm just, I'm already logged into my web hosting space. So I'm going to go to the public HTML. Then I'm going to go down to the WP contents folder. Then I'm going to go to the plugins folder. And here at the very top is the actual plugin that won't delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, click on delete. Yes. Now let's flip back to the blog and here I'm going to refresh and it's gone. And that's fantastic. But that's only the first part. Now we need to clean up the database because the fact is that Plugins that you install and then uninstall usually leave tables in your database. And yes, those tables are no longer being accessed, but it all adds up to your database. It bloats your database and eventually it slows things down. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to install a plugin that's going to enable me to look at those database tables. Now I could go to my cPanel and log into PHP my admin and manually look at all the tables there and just delete the ones that I don't want. But I'm going to show you how to do this with a plugin because that way you can do it all from your dashboard, from your WordPress dashboard without actually having to use PHP my admin. Okay, so I'm going to click on add new and here we're going to type in DB manager. This is one of my all time favorite plugins. I have been using this for countless years. I do have a video on this plugin on how I use it. It does a lot of things. So I will put a link to that video in the description. Check it out if you haven't used this plugin before because it really is good. So you'll see on the panel here on your dashboard that you have a new section called database and there are a lot of options there. I'm going to go to the one that says empty drop tables. Okay. Now in this case, I'm going to tell you that the offending plugin <laughs> that I just deleted via FTP, the tables had actually gone from the database, but for some reason the plugin wouldn't delete. So all I needed to do in that case was to FTP and delete the plugin. But most of the time plugins that you do delete are going to leave data in your database. Now, to know what those tables are called, the only thing you have to do is you have to contact the plugin developer and just explain that you want to uninstall the plugin and clean up the database. What are those tables called? But while we're here, there are some tables that I've noticed from earlier plugins that I've used and since deleted that are still here in my database. So I'm going to delete those. Okay. So I'm going to go through the tables here and some table names you may recognize, for example, the EWWIO images, the plugin is actually called the same thing. So that's easily recognizable. Now I have the IPGO block uh, plugin, which I no longer use on this website. So I'm going to select the drop radio button here from the right hand column. And it's the same for that and the same for that, because you can see that these three all belong to the IPGO block plugin. Okay, now this one here, Ranky, this is also something that I no longer use on this blog. And this has four, four tables. So I've selected those. 
and these I think I believe these are Thrive Leads the Thrive Leads opt-in box which I had on this blog now these are things that I've used and tested in the past and done tutorials on and since deleted and obviously doing this on a live blog is not the best thing to do I should really have had a test blog from day one but there you go okay so it is what it is now so there's a lot of tables there you can see about seven or eight tables there all from Thrive Leads and these have been in my database bloating my database and I haven't used this plugin for quite some time now WF uh, this is WordFence you can uh, you can tell by the pre prefix and let's see if there's anything else in here that I recognize WordFence is a great plugin it's a big plugin and not surprisingly it has a lot of tables now I see that there are two tables there from the Yoast plugin which I don't use on this blog so or rather I should say I don't I no longer use on this blog so now I have all the tables that I want to drop and drop by the way is database speak for basically remove blitz you have two options you can empty a table which basically means exactly that you're going to empty the table of the data that it has but the table is going to remain in your database or you can drop the table which actually means delete the whole thing so I have quite a few selected there so all I'm going to do is click on the empty and drop button now before I do this and this obviously should be common sense back up your website and back up your database now I use a plugin called all-in-one migration to do this and I have a tutorial showing you exactly how I do this with one click and you can restore your website with one click as well so I'll put a link to that in the description as well make sure you back up your database and your website first and download the backup files so you have them on your desktop and then do this and make sure that you're you're ticking the right tables because if you take the wrong table then um, at, at worst something really bad is going to screw up on your website at best you'll just delete a table that a plugin needs so all that will happen is your plugin will just either disappear or it will become disabled and you'll get a message on your dashboard saying such a file can't be found that's just the plugin complaining that it can't find the data that it needs and in most cases you can fix that by reinstalling the plugin but you know at worst as I say you could delete something major and it just could be a bit of a setback so there's nothing like being able to restore your website with one click anyway so I've selected all the tables that I need to drop or that I want to drop and I'm going to click on uh, empty drop you get the old warning message here saying are you sure you want to do this yes let's do this okay so all those tables have been dropped there's quite a few there so the first thing you want to do really is just go to the front of your website and make sure that everything is okay okay for a second there <laughs> things didn't look right there for a second and I think it was just a caching problem but yeah everything looks fine everything looks like it should do I'm gonna click on blog and just make sure yeah everything's fine okay so that is how you delete a pesky plugin from WordPress a plugin that will not delete just to recap you FTP using the FTP client of your choice I like to use FileZilla because it's free and because it just works and you FTP you find you go to the plugin directory you find the offending plugin you find the folder for that plugin you delete that and that's part one and then you need to go to your database and see whether there are any tables remaining from that plugin and clean them up if you don't know what those tables are called or you can't really tell by looking at your database just shoot the um, plugin developer well don't don't shoot them shoot them an email is what I mean shoot <laughs> send them an email and just ask him just just explain to him hey I want to I want to delete these tables what am I looking for what are they called and as soon as uh, you get a reply then you know what to do use the WP DB manager plugin that will enable you to view all your tables just click the ones 
that you need to delete and hit delete after you've backed up your website and your database. Of course, you could do this manually and go to your cPanel and log in and use phpMyAdmin to locate those tables and just drop them that way. But I think it's just easier to do from your WordPress dashboard using the plugin that I just showed you. I hope this helps you and now you have the power to delete those pesky plugins that will not delete. I'll catch you oh, while you're here. Please subscribe to the channel and that way you can keep up to date with all the content and I'll catch you in the next video.